Hey guys, Dan here. Today I'm going to test out the Swedish Vi Log and see if I can cook a meal on it. And I've just got a log and ran the chainsaw through it a few times. And the idea is you drop a little bit of tinder here and it, it burns outwards. Um, so, yeah, we'll give it a crack. See how it goes. Just got a little bit of fat wood here and I've kind of slithered it here with the knife. And I'm going to light that up and drop it down the center. I find there's not a huge amount of airflow in this. Maybe I needed to have more cuts, but it's, it's definitely got the heat through it enough to cook, but just real smoky. We're going to try and raise it up a little bit so we get some, some more airflow in there. Let's see how that works. Anyway, bacon will taste good. Real smoky. <laughs> going to try and raise this up a little bit. Get a little bit more air in there. Smoky bacon, should be good. At least we keep the skeeters off. I'm just gonna put a couple of logs there and I've got this little titanium grill and that should give enough distance between that and the fry pan. I probably don't even need that grill actually. I'll leave it there anyway. Hopefully that'll um, yeah, disperse the heat a bit and get rid of a bit of that smoke because it's, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> So yes, you can cook breakfast on a Swedish fire torch. It was a little bit of screwing around to try and get the heat right, but it is a really cool way to have a fire, just one log, compact. Um, yeah, I'll definitely use that again. It was a really interesting way to have a fire. So I've let this burn down a fair bit more, and the structure's held up still quite strong, but the gaps in the sides are much bigger. So I think waiting till it was looking like this would be a great way to boil water really quickly because it's so hot. It's just warming up our whole campsite right now. 